Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, uh, all these oxygen pumps are not created equal. Let's put it that way. Um, I had the long weeping hose in this cage with the black tilapia and it just never, never did really seem like it was putting out what it should have been. Um, and a few days ago, like a week ago, I started noticing, uh, well I noticed a floater, a dead fish in the water. And uh, that morning I noticed them all on the surface gulping uh, for air. So, and noticed it again uh, a couple more days, a couple more mornings. And so I finally just decided, hey, you know, this, this weeping hose air, uh, as aeration just isn't working. So I disconnected it and put in these air stones. Uh, and it was still uh, not what you would think, not what you'd think it should be doing. Uh, and so today, uh, changed out the pump itself, uh, swapped, swapped the pump that was in there for another one uh, up at the house. And it's made a difference, it's a, a, a noticeable difference, not a, not a colossal night and day. But uh, there's a lot of air coming out of that one right now, and a fair amount coming out of that one. And I don't know if you can see back in there, it kind of comes and goes. Uh, there's air coming out of that one now as well. So it's this pump, for I don't know, who knows what the reason is. It's putting out about twice as much air as the other one, even though it's the same pump. So I guess what can be said is that uh, the stones are not created equally, and neither are the pumps. Uh, I don't know how else you could put it. Yeah, you can see the air coming out of that one pretty well now. And this one's doing well, and that one's doing a lot. So, part of that problem solved. In my opinion, still, only three stones coming off of this pump. It should be putting out more air than that, but it is what it is. So, at least now... Uh, I'll be able to, to gauge a little bit better. Hopefully now when I come down in the morning there won't be any little fish in here running around gulping for air. Uh, because it, it'll be adequate, adequately oxygenated. And the problem, uh, you know, the, the root cause of the problem in this floating cage is that uh, you know, I knew that I was going to put in aeration because uh, I had made the sides of this net very small. Uh, it's it's fairly it's not as finely meshed as like window screen, but it's uh, much finer than the green. I don't know how well that's going to come up there on video, but it's pretty fine. So I knew I'd have to have aeration in this, uh, and wouldn't need it so much in those others because it cuts down a lot on the water has changed in and out of the pins, in and out of the cages themselves. And so uh, there's still 15, 1800 black tilapia in this cage. Uh, it's only, just call it 12 feet by 20 feet and three feet deep. Uh, they're pretty crowded, so it has to have oxygen in it. Now whether or not we're gonna, after the typhoon, we're gonna uh, just transfer these into one of those ponds over there. I don't know. I uh, still haven't made up my mind on that. I'm leaning towards uh, uh, removing the fish out of these cages and then removing the cages and draining this pond again because it's we put the fish in that cage there when they were too small and they escaped out the holes in the in the cage itself and they're all over in the pond now and they're going to start breeding in another month or so. 
three weeks to a month. And then, then we'll be back at that endless cycle again with no way to get uh, the large fish out. So I think what we're going to do is just drain it, uh, move the fish out, drain it, and uh, transfer what's left. And then put a, put a net in the bottom and go from there. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.